You are not a leader until you have produced a leader who can produce another leader. You are all leaders in this room and you have an opportunity to make an impact on the world. But this one stings a little bit, but then hopefully motivates you because technically you are not a leader until you produce a leader who can produce a leader. How many of you feel like your business is running you at times, you're not running it? How many of you wake up at 2 a.m. and your mind is racing, but your body's tired? Well, there's five reasons that happens. I'm gonna start on the business part of this. Number one, you don't have control. Number two, how many people know people just don't listen? Number three, you're on the brink of burnout. Number four, you're dealing with what we call hitting the ceiling. And then fifth, nothing's working. These are the five common problems. There's three places to focus to fix it. Vision, traction, and healthy. Logic makes people think, emotion makes people act, and relationships are the greatest conductors of emotion. So if you're gonna make it through these next six months, I make a recommendation you take a strong look at your relationship health inside your organization and outside your organization. Are you taking advantage of this little piece of high ground here to cultivate those relationships before you go back into the valley? Relationship health is key. Someone once told me that our most valuable asset is our confidence. While I believe confidence is critical, I believe there's something even more valuable. Clarity. You see, clarity creates intention. Clarity creates peace of mind. Clarity may be the one thing that can quiet the voices in our head.